on 15th April 2011, following the amendment of the law governing Uganda's capital Kampala. A new position of executive director of Kampala Capital City Authority, KCCA, was created. President William Seven, who is vested with the authority, then appointed Jennifer Semakuram CC as the first chief executive and new accounting officer of the city administration. Kampala City Council, KCCA, was rebranded into Kampala Capital City Authority, KCCA. Musisi came with seal to sanitize a city administration that had been run down for decades, create trade order and streamline the city's transport system. Slowly and steadily, Musisi went to work, struggling against pressures from political leaders and entrenched business interests. Hawkers and street vendors were the first to feel a taste of Musisi's plan to reorganize the city when they were driven off the streets and sidewalks they had used for decades. The appointing authority was impressed with Musisi's works and lavished praises on the former Commissioner of Board and Legal Affairs at the Uganda Revenue Authority, URA. The president generously sang Musisi's praises in public whenever he had the opportunity. <laughs> It was no surprise that in April 2014, the president renewed Jennifer Msisi's contract for another three years. City dwellers also saw Madame Jenny's fruits, including improved roads and the introduction of the annual city carnival. But there was one headache from Msisi, politicians mainly from the opposition led by city lord mayor Arias Lukwago, had issues with Musisi's methods. There were often exchanges between the two, with each blaming the other for stagnating progress in Kampala. After the 2016 elections, the ruling party National Resistance Movement lost most of its seats in Kampala, with Lukwago recapturing his mayoral seat with an even wider margin. The president was speaking another language, seemingly kicking Musisi in the teeth. And that's why the people of Kampala confuse themselves. When they are not happy with Musisi, they vote for opposition MPs. Opposition MPs are useless. He said the manner in which street vendors were swept off by KCCA could have been problematic. But the, the, the mistake was in not, first of all, sensitizing them, uh, telling them the why, Analysts blame the president for watering down Musisi's good works. I'm quite confident that the president was concerned about the loss of support for the party in power, especially by people who were pinched, who were negatively affected by the improvements in the Kampala city. And at least the vendors, of course, are voters. Probably realizing that her position could be precarious in June last year, Musisi seemed to be warming up to the Lukwago and his camp for the good of the city. But in October 2016, Deputy KCCA Executive Director Dr. Judith Tukahira resigned, citing intrigue and political interference in the authority. The then Director of Engineering and Technical Services, Andrew Chitaka, replaced her as acting Deputy KCCA boss. Mosisi rarely attended KCCA council meetings. The Lord Mayor and the councillors claimed she was frustrating their work. But in surprised move, in February, Mosisi was in the council to explain the eviction of parkyard market vendors, saying KCCA didn't play a role. The Lukwago camp applauded. Now, as Mosisi embarks on her third three-year contract, she will reflect on many things in the city management. She will continue in a plum job she recently said she would have rejected had she known the challenges lying ahead. Had I known what this job involves, mm. at the time the president asked me to take it up, I would have declined. Streamlining the border border business, the question of street vendors, the taxi business and draft law enforcers will be key in her to-do list. It will be interesting to see whether Msisi's apparent better working relations with the Lord Mayor Lukwago will deliver her from the political shacks, while Lord Mayor seems to have sharpened his daggers for Minister of Kampala, Betty Olive Namisango Kamia, Solomon Kawesa, NTV.